Hi, it's Ray making another tutorial for Coder Island. Well, we haven't made one for a while. So the, today's subject is pretty simple. It's just going to help anyone starting to do any PHP programming and trying to use uh, MySQL databases. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to run PHP on your local machine. Uh, to do that, because PHP is not an HTML file where you can go double click and it's going to open up in your browser. It doesn't really work that way. Let me just say that PHP is executed on the server side. So whenever you go open up a PHP website, for instance, Facebook is run on a PHP framework, it's going to execute that file on the server side and echo back to you the HTML return. Probably for somebody who's trying to start up right now with PHP this sounds a little bit like Chinese but you got two types of codes one that executes on one that executes on your current on your local machine like JavaScript or HTML and another one that executes on the server side which is a more secure code you don't want nobody to see which is like PHP ASP ASP.net um you know server side languages there's a lot of them out there but this is to name a few famous ones uh so like i said basically to run a php on your local computer you're gonna have to emulate the server so you're gonna try to make your server the machine that you are using locally uh to do that you need something that can emulate that server Something that can emulate the server is a uh, WAMP server. Uh, I like to use Easy, uh, Easy PHP. It actually has WAMP server part of it. So, and what WAMP server is, it's a Windows application that has Apache, MySQL, PHP, and a lot more. Uh, to install Easy PHP, just go to easyphp and, uh, .org and install the program installing the program is basically very simple you just download it it's a wizard uh next next finish and it's installed to run after you run uh easy php let's say from your start menu right here and you get a program like this one it's going to show the apache server and the mysql server started in case you want to restart them or stop them or in case uh, they get stuck or something you can do that from this window by double clicking on the tray on the tray icon um, if you want a little bit more functionality more configuration and lock files you just right, uh, right click on the tray icon now uh, I have a PHP file it's called test.php uh, if you don't know you can use basic just notepad to edit a PHP file you don't really need anything sophisticated uh, you can install Dreamweaver on your computer if you like uh, that will help you with autocomplete if you're trying to learn the language and stuff uh, I'm just gonna use notepad today I have a small piece of code that echoes PHP info just tells you how, what is installed and in, uh, what functions are active right now in PHP. Uh, if I open this up in the web browser, it's not gonna do anything unless I have, like I said, this emulator server running on my machine. Uh, to access that file, I would have to copy it and move it to the root folder inside EasyPHP, which is www. And then I can create my own folder and create, name it test and then put the test.php inside that folder. Now, to go to that, to run that file that I just created, I click on local web, which is 127.0.0.1, .0 .0 2 points, 80, 80. That's basically the default. You can change that using configuration file, but that's a little bit more advanced. I mean, we you don't really need that. To know something like that today if you're just trying to get php to run on your computer 
you press on test the folder test and you run test.php it's going to give you the php info what is installed which functions are on which functions are off what's the values how, how many for instance uh, what's the max upload uh, file size stuff like that that you can change uh, also you don't need to mess with the default php configuration unless you're looking to do something advanced in the future for the meantime all the default configuration should be fine closing that and actually let's go back to that real quick to show you how to use um the php my admin i'm gonna go back to the home page and open up the mysql administration for php my admin do that real quick here this is how i can manage my database it's fairly very simple you can add a table create a database import an outside sql code uh, it's just a matter of learning all this stuff you can write codes it gives execute uh something it's it's pretty much it can be an environment where you can do all of this uh for the for the database management it could be a full solution to manage all the database um so that's basically it this is how easy php works and this is how you can run a php file on your local machine if you got any questions just leave me a comment i'll reply as soon as i can uh please hit the subscribe button if i helped you out today and make sure you invite your friends. Thank you.